Hi, I'm Maddie Anthes from the Center for Student Success, and I'm going to show you how to use the shopping cart function in PAUSE. I'm going to remove my camera so you can focus on PAUSE. Here's what it looks like when you first sign in to PAUSE. You're going to click Student Center. You can access your shopping cart in several ways. The first way I'll show you is by searching for classes. This takes you to a search screen where you can search for classes in PAUSE. Make sure your term is correct. We will be searching for classes for fall 2020. In subject, I'm going to enter classics as an example and make sure that this show open classes only is checked off. The bottom, I'll click search. Here it shows me all the classics classes that are open for fall 2020. If I'd like to know more about a class, I can click on the section. Here it tells me the class details, the meeting information like day and time, building and instructor, Enrollment information, like if you need consent to enroll or if there are any prerequisites, and any class attributes, which are the liberal learning requirements. Here under class availability, you will see the capacity, which is how many students can enroll in the class, how many have currently enrolled in enrollment total, and how many seats are available. Here it will tell you if it's a combined section, and this one is. And at the bottom, if there was a more detailed description of the course, it would be listed here. If I'd like to add this to my shopping cart, I click Select Class. This takes me to a page where it gives me a lot of that same information, like the meeting pattern and any enrollment information. If I want to add it to my shopping cart, I click Next. If I don't, I click Cancel. But since I do, I'm going to click Next. And now I have confirmation at the top that Classics 170 has been added to my shopping cart. Here in search results, if you know exactly which class you need, you can add it directly to your shopping cart by going to the right and clicking select. It takes me to that same type of page with the enrollment information and meeting information, and I can add it by clicking next. Again, I have the confirmation at the top that it's been added to my shopping cart. If you want to go back to your shopping cart to see what you've added, there's a few ways to do that. You can click shopping cart at the top, and that takes you directly to your shopping cart. You can also click plan and select the semester for which you are adding courses. You can click enroll, again, select the term. Or you could go back to your student center. To go back to your student center, you can click student center, which is in the chain at the top, or click home. But I'm going to click student center at the top. And here, those options for plan and enroll are on the left. So I'm going to click plan to show you again. Here you can find your shopping cart. These are the classes that I've entered. You can see the available seats and this green circle means that they're still open. The most important thing to remember for shopping carts is that you are not enrolled in the classes that are in your shopping cart. Just like online shopping, these are classes that you've saved that you'd like to enroll in, but you have not enrolled in yet. If you have any questions, please feel free to email records and registration at this email address. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.